guys, I'm Bodie. This is my Paranti. I picked it up actually from Marketplace, but you can get them on the Australian Frontline Military, and they're going for crazy prices now, up to 40K plus. I got this for 14. I'm sitting on a bit more now. I'm pretty happy with what I've put into it in the car I have. I originally got it like a shell you can see behind me. Yeah, I want to do that one up too eventually. I've had my passion now for about probably probably a good four years in the Land Rovers. I'm still a young fella, but you know, I've, I'm pretty into them. And since in that four years, I've made a bunch of mates and um, they all have Landys too, obviously, mainly Rovers. They're awesome in the tracks, me and the mates. Always go out, go out every now and again. We got glass house mountains and DI all sort of within an hour proximity. I'm beginning to start a brand called British Mafia and I just want to grow up bigger and bigger. So she's an 87 Parenti. I've tried to keep it as stock as I can. It's still got the original bull bar, it's still got the lifting points. These were used as a lightweight vehicle so the helicopters would actually pick them up to move them. I got a special grill made up for it with Parenti on it from Ridgy Ditch. I got a bunch of LED lights put on it, which I think just look better. Smoked them out to sort of go with the scene of the sort of newer but older look. I got the spare tire mount on the bonnet too. It's all aluminium body too, so which is pretty cool because it doesn't rust. Same as the Gal chassis, so for a beach car, it's the ultimate. I got to do a lot of things to it still. I want to. I want to tint, you know, just sort of pimp it out, tint the windows, put some seats in the back. And because I have the trailer for touring, I won't make the back as a tourer. I'll probably put the bench seats back in just to make it more usable and I can take a bunch of people up the beach if I want to. What I've done is, because they're pretty loud, it's got the Isuzu engine in it. I've wrapped it coated all the inside to sort of sound deaden it. It doesn't work that great, but it sort of looks good too. It's easy to clean, so it means if I come back from the beach, I can just wash it straight out. The engine is an Isuzu 4BD1. They're pretty much invincible. It's the only thing that won't fall apart on these. It does leak a little bit of oil, but what's a Land Rover if it doesn't? The only thing I've done to the engine so far, the 4BD1, is put a snorkel on. Um, it's just a four inch stainless pipe. What I want to do though is put a, put a turbo on, not a big one, because I don't need it. Then once I do that, I'll replace the exhaust system and run a definitely better one. For the drive line, it's pretty good. I will get some maxi drives in because the, the flanges are a little bit weak, the original ones. Just when I'm running 35s, they tend to wear out when you're really hitting the tracks big and getting that lift and spin. Other than that though, mechanically the car's pretty sweet. So the tyres, what I'm running is the Mickey T's, the, the Deegan's, they're 35 by 12 and a half on a 16 by 8 inch steel rim. They look the part and they suit the vehicle, which give me a bit of poke, so I've had to put my Bunnings garden edging on just till I find a better flare solution. They run a two inch factory body lift, which is pretty cool. And for my suspension, what I'm running is, it's just terra firma, it's a two inch lift. It's all coils, obviously. On the rear, I got the dislocating cones. Ideally, I'd like to have a bigger shock so I can really stretch it out instead of the two inch. I was going to Raptor coat it, but I was just for, for sort of looks, I didn't go down that way. It is just a 1K acrylic paint I painted it with, which is pretty easy to touch up. The reason I wanted to Raptor coat it was just for when I'm hitting tracks, it'll just, you know, gets pretty scratched up. So all I did was I just Raptor coated the rear view mirrors, because you know, they get scratched up pretty easily. And in the future, some exterior mods. I want to put some rock sliders on just to protect the seals and the, the doors because they do get cleaned up pretty easy. Plus my fuel tank will just get destroyed because it's not really protected. That's for touring. The trailer basically covers all my needs. I'll set up the batteries in there and the solar panels. The rooftop tent's on there too and all my storage will be in there too. I do have two cattle dogs and they run a bit of a muck but I'm going to try and set up a dog box cage in the trailer, so that'll keep them out of the car making a mess. Within the next six months I'll be finished and I'll be hitching the trailer up and going around Australia. 